What's up guys, welcome back to another video. If you recently bought a Quantower account from one of the prop firms like MyFunded Futures or Apex and don't know how to set it up or if you are experiencing some connection issues just like this error that it pops up when you're trying to connect to a Rhythmic account or if you are experiencing a long time for the Rhythmic account to connect we're gonna fix all of these issues in this video. So before we start the video, don't forget to drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel if you want to support me. Also, I would like to quickly mention the current promotion that my funded futures are running. If you are interested in any of them, they are currently running a 30% off any size account on the expert plan only for the new customers or newcomers. Uh, you get 30% off and the expert plan in my opinion is the best prop firm of futures account out there compared to any prop firm out there so if you'd like to give it a shot uh, use the link down in the description below and use code welcome on the checkout page to get that 30% off if you are a new customer or newcomer for anyone else that already uh, part of the my funded futures and if you want to purchase any product and currently there is no promotions going on, you can use my code chemo that will give you 5% off any purchased product. And you can use the link down in the description below if you want to support me. So let's get on track and get back to the video. On my funded future page or the dashboard, you can view your credentials here. And this is where you find your credentials for your Quantower account from my funded futures. Uh, the second thing, you will go to the Quantower page, uh, Quantower.com, and you can simply click on the download button so you can download the platform. And once you download the program and install it, it will look uh, something like that. It will just be kind of like a toolbar up on the top of the screen. On your new account, you will find like DX Feed um, account or Rhythmic or Top Step. Just click on any of them just so it can pop up the page and once open it's basically gonna look something just like this um, and from here you can just select the rhythmic account um, I can like disconnect my rhythmic account right here and I'll show you what it's gonna look like from the email you're gonna get um, it, it, it's gonna depends on which server it's most likely going to be rhythmic uh, paper trading Chicago area but it might be different from you. You can put your credential, username, and password here and click connect. And um, most of the time, you're going to get this error, this connection error. And this connection error is usually common because you did not uh, agree and accept the rhythmic uh, agreement. Just like um, a TradeOvid account, when you get a TradeOvid account, because it's the most common accounts, uh, a lot of people buy you usually when you are uh, logging in on tradeovid.com it will ask you to um, uh, accept and uh, do like the non-professional uh, license and accept to, to these agreements so there's two ways to accept the rhythmic account agreements the first method is to go to this website and put your uh, my funded future login in here so once you put your credentials, it will open uh, a page just like this. For my uh, situation, I've already accepted the agreements for both uh, the non-professional and the subscription, the data subscription. Um, so I don't need to accept anything else. And I can go ahead and log into the uh, Quantower platform and it will open just fine. The second uh, method that you can do uh, is to download the R Trader Pro from the uh, Rhythmic uh, website, and um, you can download the R Trader Pro and put your uh, your credentials, the same credentials for My Funded Future or whatever prop firm you got it from. You put it here, and for uh, for the bottom panel as well, the same credentials, and click login, and it will open just fine. So let's just do that really quick. Um, copy and copy paste it here and paste it here and my password paste it here paste it here is the same system and the same uh, same server we're going to click on login and it's currently logging into my r trader pro on rhythmic uh but it this is not going to be the platform that we're gonna um uh, trade 
uh, from this is just there and they do advise you to download it to keep an eye on uh, your commission uh, for each trade you take just in case if uh if for whatever reason the system kind of messed up and uh, showed something different and the way to view the commission fees for the account is basically cl click on performance and it will open this tab it's not showing uh so anything here because the i have not traded that day and it will show up here commissions and fee so going back on continuing to set up your quant tower account and putting the charts and all of that so once connected you can go ahead and close this tab and now as you can see if you went through the second method of downloading the r trader pro this is the second issue that we want to address is either one or one of the two things will happen while you're connecting to a uh, quant tower the first thing is it might take long long time just like i showed in the beginning of the video it will take forever to connect and at the end of the day it will not connect or the second thing is it will log you out on the uh, r trader pro and this is because your account can only be connected to one platform at a time it cannot be connected at both at the same time so the solution for getting your rhythmic account connected to quant tower right away without no issues make sure your account is not opened and is not logged in in any other platform just so you can ensure a uh, successful and seamless uh, connection to the quant tower account so we can go ahead and put uh, our layout for the charts for the position for the open position for your PL and all of that so the first thing you will click on is chart obviously and um, you can just put it however you want so let's say for example we're gonna put it something like that and we're gonna get another chart and we're gonna put it here um, let's say we're gonna have it something like this and the second chart we're gonna have it something like this So next what you're going to need is uh, open position so you can just type position and it's this one under profile and you can put it just like here um, and minimize it and minimize it and next what you're going to need is an account information under informational and I'm going to show you what uh, we're going to do with this um, I can just uh, for the chart I can make it a little bit um tighter here take this so we can have we can have space for the account information so here's your account account information and what you going to need from the account information is basically it will show you your balance um and uh, it will also show you the open profit slash loss and the closed profit slash loss and then the total and also the position whenever you're in a position it will show you your pnl and the gross pnl uh for your trade and the stop loss and all of that so here uh you can go ahead and click on this uh little search bar and you can like collapse all you go to cme data you go to futures and for me i usually trade in q or if you want to trade m in q which is the micro collapse all cme and click on m, m in q and here's m in q so let's say for example here you want the one minute chart and here you would like the five minutes chart and down here you would like maybe the um uh the um, s p 500 so maybe mes so click on that and front month and it will load up your maybe here you want the five minute and maybe here you want the five minutes as well to like maybe watch for smts and stuff like that so you can now click on this little icon it will, and it will open up your uh basically your order tab and it will show you your market if you want a market fill or ask uh, ask sell and buy and all of that stuff it also has a mouse trading if you click the um, left click it will buy if you click on the right click it will sell i don't like to do that I'll just, um, i like to use the quick execution which is it's the second one right here you can just click on it 
and then you can pick out uh, how many contracts you want to do and uh, here is the sell and here is the buy and that's how you do it next if you want to uh, modify any of the view for the chart you can click uh, right click and go to the settings and you can actually um, just modify it however you like and you can also uh, get the the crosshair uh, the grid and the time for next bar i actually like that time for next bar to make it bigger which is that little time down there i like to make it bigger for myself and maybe uh white also just make it a clear white for myself and that's it so next is what you're going to need to do is probably combine all of this under one layout and the way that you're going to do that is come come up here right click and then create bind after that you're gonna just like with your cursor just like click and drag over all those panel so it creates under one bind and then create bind down at the right hand side then you can go to that tab that says bind and right click it and then save as a template and we you can call it like mnq mnq and you can also shorten it as mnq as well and you click on save and this where it's going to save it at is you can click on the quantower uh, icon and it will give you mnq you, these are the templates that you created so whenever you close out of the uh the program or the the software and you come up again and you see that uh toolbar only you can go to the top right uh, left side and click on the quant tower uh, icon and click on mnq this is a really simple way you're gonna try uh let's uh, go to a short position right here so it just uh filled me the this is the gross pnl the running pnl uh this is in ticks and here down here with uh, with our uh, account information it shows the total profit uh and losses and here is the open profit and loss here is the account um, uh, visually live shows you uh, the account balance and we can see uh, if this is an, uh, a win trade or a losing trade oh also how you can put um, take profit and stop loss is through these buttons right here just click on it and drag it up and for the take profit is the limit right here you can click on it and drag it down and it will show you like on the right here that says four dollars if you gonna win this uh, trade and here it, it shows you the um it, it did show it but i didn't see it. so this is how you put a uh, trade and set up a stop loss and take profit so that is it guys for the video if you like the video make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you like the content that i present and see you guys in the next one peace